all of the things that are mentioned here, we see come to fruition in the early church with the apostles and disciples. Like the apostle Paul had a serpent bite him, and then he shook it off. And the people that saw it, they're like, man, that was a venomous snake. And they thought he was ready to fall. Like they thought he should have fallen over dead because they, they identified the snake. They saw the serpent that bit him and they're thinking like, man, this guy's going to die. And then they thought that he was a god because he didn't die. right? But that was God protecting him. God had to work for him to do. And now look, any one of these things individually, I think God still completely, of course, has the power to do today. The power is not gone. But we also have to understand why is it that while in the book of Acts you can see people, I mean, they were Peter and James and John and even Paul. I mean, they're going around. They're able to heal people. They're able to cast out devils. They're doing all these great miracles and wonders. But you don't see that happening today. The only thing you see happening today are the, are the copycats and the frauds trying to mimic what was done here in the book of Acts. But they're, they're clearly not of God. The, the, the big names, the Pentecostal group, right? the, the people like that. It, it's clearly a fraud. It's clearly not real. The reason why is because, first of all, there was, and as we're going to continue in the book of Hebrews, see this, and it's evident, there is a change. There is a difference between the Old Testament and New Testament. So if, if you're going to change anything in the service to the Lord and things that pertain to God just at all, the, the, you've got the temple or the tabernacle, your offerings, all of this stuff, we better make sure that any change is literally of God. Now, the changes, there are changes, and there's, I'm not wrong, and there's nothing wrong with using that term, but they're really fulfillments of the law and was still all part of the, the, the great plan. It all has to line up with Scripture, but God is confirming, yes, these changes are authorized by me. This actually is coming from me. This is actually the Word of God. I'm actually telling you now to do these things. I'm telling you now that things are a little bit different. This is being confirmed through the power of God, through the power of the Holy Ghost, so that everyone can witness it and see, no, man, this is, I mean, these things can only be done through the power of God. So because there was these changes and because we have this whole New Testament delivered in such a short period of time, right, with, with all of the changes compact in a very small time frame, God confirmed that, yes, this is of me, yes, this is true, which is why you have the signs and the miracles. That's why it's there. God's putting a stamp of approval going, yep, this is of me. And it all, of course, the scriptures all match up. They line up. There's no contradiction. We know it's the word of God, but God definitely had to add that. Just as Jesus did his miracles, proving he was the son of God. Right? He... He had to, John the Baptist did no miracle. People believed or not based on the word of God, but when Jesus Christ, the word made flesh came, he proved himself over and over again beyond a shadow of a doubt. And that's why when people were trying to say, oh, the, wor you know, the works that he does are through Beelzebub, they didn't receive forgiveness. They were witness to everything that Jesus was doing and it's like, it's, it's kind of like the, the angels who are witness to God in heaven and still, like, if, if they're still going to turn on him and still reject him, then they're just going like, okay, well, you're just damned forever now. And those that never have forgiveness are those that see the power of the Holy Ghost. They're right there. They're witnessing it all. There is no other explanation. It is clear to them. It is evident to them. And they still just refuse to accept it and reject it. Okay, you're reprobate. You have never forgiveness now. You're trying to say that that's of the devil, that all these, all the, all the good miracles that God is clearly showing you is of the devil, then you are damned forever. You never have forgiveness.